Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is actually only, I think, the 22nd. It's Monday. I think it's the 22nd. <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, I'm super excited about a project that I made. And I'm not supposed to film this video and put it out until next week, the end of the month. Because it is the uh, hashtag crochet calendar fun <laughs> collab that I'm participating in with a whole list of people. <laughs> I'll link them down below in the description box. Check them all out because they're all awesome people. And we're all, we all got this calendar. Uh, Dina actually gifted it to a bunch of us. I don't know if she gifted it to all of us <laughs> for sure. But I know she, she bought it for me and a few other people uh, so that we could participate in this collab all together. But it's got a bunch of patterns in it. And I've already showed you guys my January and February ones. I made a Halloween themed uh, January one and a Christmas themed um, February one. So the next one was March right here. This uh, Daisy Square. It's actually called Daisy Granny Square by, it's not in here, it's on my cart. Red something. The website's red something. Anyways, it'll be linked below. I found it for free um, on their website. They posted it on there so you can also do it too. But I like being creative with mine. <laughs> So for January, I did make a Halloween themed balloon that I'm going to add some stuff to to make a decoration. And then the uh, January, or whatever, what is it? February <laughs> uh, one, I did Christmassy, so I'm going to use it as like a Christmas decoration. So then March, instead so of just making a square, and I didn't want to make a ton of squares to make like a blanket or something, um, I got creative. So I used um, Dollar Tree yarn. It is the Premier Just yarn. And uh, let me go get my cart because the ball bands are on my cart. Back, I got the whole cart. <laughs> Let's see here. The website is called Red Red Gape. It says Red Gape. <laughs> okay. But anyways, uh, it will be linked below. So, the yarns that I used were these three. These were yarns I got Dollar Tree. These two are worsted and this one is Erin, but I used them together because there's just a little bit bigger, so it's all right. But let's see here. It is um, Royal Purple, Just Yarn Royal Purple. Antique White. And this one I think is called Maze. Yeah, Maze. Really pretty color. I used them three and I made I'm excited. I'm so excited about this. I wanted to film it now. Okay, I made four of the squares. Here they are. There's two of them. And the other two. And I crocheted them together. There's a button right here for the little flap. And it is a case for my Nintendo Switch. <laughs> I have a Nintendo Switch Lite, which is the non-console version. Most of you probably don't even care to play video games on. But Jesse has the console version. Him and Devin played all the time. And I wanted a little one just to play my games on. But anyways, I made four of the squares, and you, I sewed them together so I could just slide my switch down in there, and I sewed a button on the pedal. I have some ladybug buttons somewhere, and I wanted to use them, but I can't find them. I got them out of a knit crate once, so I know they're right here somewhere, but I can't find them. And then you button it, and it's shut, and it's in there safely. I thought about lining it, but it's just too much work, <laughs> so I think it's fine. This does just protect the screen a little bit enough, you know, so I can put it down in my project bag if I'm going somewhere because I like to play my games sometimes and it keeps the buttons safe. So I was so excited about this. I thought I did such a good job. <laughs> so I just made the four squares and I followed the pattern completely. Uh, I, I even used, let me see here. Yeah, it's a G hook. I used a G hook and this is worsted, worsted. This is Aaron, so it's a little bit bigger than worsted, but smaller than bulky. Uh, but I think it went well. Uh, I, I will tell you one thing. In, in the thing, in the pattern, it says that these are called bobbles. Um, maybe they are bobbles. They seem more to me like clusters. But maybe I do, maybe I'm getting them confused. I don't know. Either way, it worked out good. There's my squares. So I just sewed two together this way. I crocheted them together with single crochets. And then I did, you know, that twice. And then I just put them together and I, I started at the top. <laughs> and I single crocheted them all the way together, all the way around. And then I just kept working up here and I just, uh, I ended up half double crocheting 20 across the top. And then I just decreased on each side down until it got to the side where I wanted it to be because I wanted it to fall on the flower. <laughs> um, 
and then just sew the button on. I just used regular thread to sew the button on there, and I used white since the button's white. And that's it. That's my little case. I was so excited about that. I had to show it to you guys. You won't even see this video until next week, but I was so excited I had to share it with someone. <laughs> I finished this yesterday, and I'm just so proud of it. I think I did so good. And I didn't even know if it was going to fit, because I followed the um, square exactly, and it just happened to be like the right size for the switch. Oh, that was so cool. I got the coral one. <laughs> and um, so I just used the pretty uh, Dollar Tree yarns and made me a little switch case. I'm so proud of it. <laughs> and uh, I really like taking liberty on these patterns and doing my own thing with them. Ugh, get out there. So that is my March hashtag crochet calendar fun project. <laughs> the next month, uh, April, I can't remember the months is a mobile. I'm going to grab this pattern out here. It's got the bees and the little flowers. Now, I'm, I'm probably going to make this a mobile. Or I'm going to make it like a hanging thing. I probably won't make it like a circular <laughs> because I don't have anything circular on hand to use. So, I'll probably, I have some dowels and I have um, sticks, you know, outside. <laughs> I'll probably make something kind of like that with the bees and the flowers on it. And if I don't actually want it anywhere to hang in here, I will, I have a girl that I know, she's a younger girl, she'll probably like it to put in her bedroom. So, um, I will probably make that basically just the same thing. I'll just use different colors, because it's awful lot of yellow. <laughs> they used awful lot of yellow, you know, because the bees are yellow, and then all this is yellow on the strings. I'll probably use different colors, and uh, it'll be like a bar instead of a circle. <laughs> so I don't have anything circular to use, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I might change my mind. Who knows? <laughs> but this does have, let's see here. Yeah, it has the bees, the wings for the bees, and the hoop hanger. So it doesn't have the flower pattern. That's interesting. So it's just the bees and um, the wings. Hmm. That's kind of weird it doesn't have the flowers. But that's okay. So basically bees and strings. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. We'll figure it out. And then after April, it gets a little tough because the, the projects start being bigger. So, let's go in there. So, uh, we'll see about that. Let's see here. The next one is a blanket, I think. Yeah, the next two are blankets. May and June. So, that'll be a lot of work. But it doesn't mean I have to use it. They look like they're all squares. I think the first, the first two blankets are squares. So, I can, you know, do what I want with it. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so that was my March hashtag crochet calendar fun project and the reveal of next month. <laughs> I just had to get on here and share that with someone. And even though I know no one's going to see this until next week, I still get it off my chest. Because <laughs> I'm just so proud of this little uh, case. I love it. But, yeah, so by the time you see this, it should be almost the end of the month. How many days? I think there's 31 days in this month, so I might put it on the very last day. Unless it's a Wednesday, because I always have videos on Wednesdays. I don't know. You'll see it when you see it, I guess. Now I have to take my cart back. Put my calendar back where it goes and all that stuff. But I'm going to go ahead and hop off here. And I'll see you guys in another video soon. But I'll see you in the next crochet calendar one at the end of April. <laughs> so, yeah. Check out everybody else's videos that will be linked below. And uh, see what their projects are. Bye, guys.